Why don't I just get your real phone, eh? <laughs> Anything else while I'm in Fisher? No. But thank you for being my personal slave. Wow. All I can say is I must really love you. That bed is a chiropractor's dream. Did you just say what I think you said? I guess I did. Well then. I guess I love you too. Ingrid! I can't believe I did that. I screwed up. Look, you're stressed. It happens. I've never killed an animal, never hurt an animal before, never intentionally caused distress. I mean, no one thinks you did this intentionally. It's Paul's fault. He made me do it. It's my fault. I let him get to me. No, you got it right the first time. It's Paul's fault. I'm the vet. It's my responsibility. Look, he has a job in the city. He can't hang around forever. Just watch him. You always sleep with other men's wives. She's not your wife anymore. We're not divorced. Ingrid still belongs to me. You are full of it, mate. Back off. You're threatening a police officer. It's not a very smart thing to do, Marcus. I could make life very difficult for you. I don't care what you do to me. Just leave Ingrid alone. <laughs> She's just using you, mate. I mean, she's only sleeping with you to get back at me. Make me jealous. When I mean, she thinks I've been punished enough. Oh. Well, I don't think I'll be leaving her alone very long. Marcus! You're under arrest, mate. You're assaulting a police officer. Take it easy. Let him go. He's not going anywhere except for the station. Oh, this is crap. Anything you do say may be used against you in a court of law. You can't do this. Unprovoked attack. And there are plenty of witnesses. Ingrid! I'm worse than Paul. You snapped. It happens. I snapped too. Yeah, but you didn't lure someone to a deserted house and shoot them. I mean, I shot him. I aimed and pulled the trigger. Yeah, but Paul forced you to. That's all over now. He'll be back. He has a plan. That's why he covered for me. And when he does show up, what do I do then? I don't really know who I am. I'm capable of. Come on. Would you really have killed him? I don't know. I'm scared I would have. Okay. Yeah, fine. G'day. I don't remember calling a vet. You okay? Did something happen? Paul was released from hospital three days ago. Shame the bastard didn't bleed to death. Don't worry, if he comes anywhere near you, I'll take care of him. What are you going to do? Kill him? If I have to. You've already got one assault charge. What's the point in rescuing me but spending the rest of your life in jail? Whatever it takes to make you safe. Paul's never going to hurt you again. Oh, Marcus, please, think about what you're saying. I already have. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I've got to go take care of Rocky. See you soon. Love you. I love you too. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Bye. Tell me anything. He turned up after the accident trying to look innocent. Accident? 
What accident? What happened? I'm so sorry, I thought you knew. Grace, what the hell is going on? Paul drained Ingrid's brake fluid this morning. She and Stevie had an accident. Marcus, what's happening? Marcus! Her anywhere. We'll find her. The police are on their way. She knew you were going to act like this. You'd lose it and go after Paul. Well, that lot of good that's done is she's probably out there somewhere bleeding to death. Settle down. He knew about the accident and he didn't tell me. Yeah, I didn't tell you either. Look, this letter's for you. It's from Ingrid. What does it say? <laughs> Marcus, I'm so sorry to leave you like this. But Paul's given me no choice. I have to run again or it'll kill me. She's booked a motel. She wants me to meet her there. Well, that's good news, right? She's alive. Unless Paul drove her off the road first. No, we don't know that for sure. There's a chance she got away. Oh, one way to find out. I'm going to that motel. You do that, you'll lead him right to her. We need to find a way to distract Paul. Then he can get to the motel, okay? You stay at drivers tonight. Didn't realise anyone else was up. Insomnia, remember? <laughs> Chamomile? Sure. You can't do anything till the morning, so you might as well get some sleep. Thanks. Part of me wants to go to that motel right now. And the other part? Doesn't understand why she didn't tell me she was leaving. I mean, if you love someone, you tell them, right? Maybe she didn't get the chance. This morning. <gasps> no, I didn't realize it at the time. She was, she was saying goodbye. She was probably trying to protect you. Ignorance is bliss. Is that it? She loves you no matter how it turns out. I'd do the same if I were in her shoes. Well, then you'd be wrong too. Not yet. I can't. I found myself praying the whole way here. And it's crazy plan of work, you know, that you be here safe. It's the thing with wanting answers. <laughs> Sometimes you get them. Are you okay? Are you are you hurt? I, I saw the car. I saw I saw the blood. You. I wasn't in the car. Shh, shh, shh. I faked the whole thing. Oh God. Paul has to believe I'm dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wanted to be here. I did. And I had to. I had to walk through the bush and take a night bus. No, I don't care. Paul had killed you. 
Well, I knew if I told you, you'd just try to talk me out of it. And if you found out about the accident, you'd go after Paul. Gee, you think? He wasn't just threatening me. He was after you and the driver's girls too. I didn't have a choice. the police are going to work out that you're not dead. Paul is going to track you down wherever you go. Yeah, but we'll have a good head start. And is that the way you want to live, always looking over your shoulder? I don't have a choice. Yes, you do. Come with me. Best place to hide is a Kalani right under his nose. And I reckon Jeff's on our side. All we need is proof. Look, I'm not saying that it'll be easy or there's no risk, but... I'll work something out. It's not a very convincing argument. <laughs> You're right. I don't have a good argument. <laughs> All I know is that I love you. And I want us to have a life together. Paul was taking a big risk shooting you in broad daylight. Oh no, not really. The road was deserted, there were no witnesses. It's been closed from your room. Thanks. He had my fingerprints all over the crowbar. He had the perfect excuse to shoot me, but he didn't. I reckon he was just trying to scare me. Sounds like it worked. Whatever he wanted, it's Marcus's word against his. Well, what about security footage? Doesn't this place have more cameras than Fort Knox? I know the house and the boundaries. There's no cameras where he stopped us. Does Paul know that? Maybe we could bluff him, make him think it was on tape. Get a confession out of him and tape it. Give me half an hour, I can dummy up a security camera and put it on the stock route, just in case he checks. Just do whatever you have to. Why did I let you talk me into this? Because we're going to beat him. This plan could really work. No, it won't. Why can't you see that? He's going to catch on. And do you know what he's going to do then? Ingrid, please. He's going to hurt everyone I love. Just give this plan a chance. If it doesn't work, I'll do it. We'll leave. Together. Do you promise? I'm not losing you again. Thought I'd see how you're holding up. Oh, not as well as can be expected. Grace, thank you for everything. You can thank me by sticking around. Well, unless Paul's been hit by a bus in the past five minutes, it's not going to happen. Any thoughts on where you'll go or what you'll do? I don't know. It'll have to be different this time. I'll change my name. Make sure I don't leave any trace for Paul to follow. What about Marcus? Not much of a life for him. No, I'm not forcing him to leave. Well, you're not giving him much choice either. This is his home, Ingrid. He's happy here. He's settled. He's got plans for Rocky, Kalani's future. I know he'll regret leaving. How do you know that? Oh, I'm his best mate. I know him better than anyone. Deep down, I know he doesn't want this. Please don't make him go. You love him? Of course not. We're just mates. I believe I never saw it before. You don't want to lose him. I've got a good feeling about this tape. Hopefully, you won't have to go anywhere. Marcus, am I forcing you into this? What? No. 
if we have to go, I'm making you choose between me and your life here. You love Kalani. None of this is your fault. It's Paul's. And you're not forcing me. And what about everything you're going to leave behind? <laughs> well, I'm not saying I'm not going to miss the place. I mean, it'll be hard. But if this is what it takes to be with you, I choose you. Now, Ben and the girls have gone to find Paul, but just in case, you know the old workers' cottage. If Paul turns up, go there. That'll be our safe house until we can get out of here, okay? So I'm going to go and give Nat a few instructions. I'll be on my phone. It'll be okay. There's something you need to see. Why, do you know where she is? Just come with me, please. Grace, what is going on? It's Ingrid. Yeah, what about her? Where is she? Just play the tape. It's the courtyard, so? She left before Paul got here. Before it even made set up. camping out around Spencer. She didn't get her stuff from here. Maybe she did move on after all. There you go, mate. Got grace to give you a workout. You mind? Why don't you? Might lift your spirits. I haven't got time. i got to head out again. Marcus. Before Ingrid left. What? Nothing. I was just thinking if, if Ingrid left Spencer that night, probably hitched. She could be anywhere. She left you a note. What? Under Rocky's saddle. Marcus, my feelings for you weren't what I thought they were. Please don't try to find me. I can't love you. I'm sorry, Ingrid. So, any sign of Ingrid? She left a note. Said it was over. Said there was nothing there anyway. Well, I wouldn't believe everything you're reading. Well, then why would she write it? I don't know. Maybe she doesn't want to be found. I can't let it go. Well, how long are you going to keep looking? What, a few months? A year? More? Show starts in half an hour. Surprise. It's everything you like in a car. Uh, manual, because I know you hate a car that does everything for you. Tinted windows so you can see out, but no one can see you. Is it okay? I mean, I know he's got your car and everything, and I didn't want it to look like I was doing No, it. it's absolutely great. Thank you. Ooh. 
still better get that straight. You don't like the you? I'm just in a hurry. Okay. Well, uh, I gotta get onto the paperwork then. Ingrid. Grace. Paul's in jail. Yeah, I... I found out a week ago. So are you coming back? Uh, I was, but I'm moving on now. Don't you want to see Marcus? Did you tell him you saw me? Then no, I, I don't want to mess with his head again. <laughs> He's moved on. It's probably already talking about marriage, kids. <laughs> It's Marcus. From the moment you're together, it's all babies, the future. I'm sorry. Please don't tell him you saw me. Another five minutes and you wouldn't have anyway, so. I saw her today in town. What? Where? Is she, is she okay? I mean, did you speak to her? What'd she say? Does she know about Paul? Hey Grace, we need more wool packs to find them in the shed. I'll get them. No, I understand. Look, I, I was surprised and curious. That's all. I think it's fine. She's doing well. She knows about Paul. She asked after you. I told her you were doing okay. That's all she wanted to know. Do you want to see her? No. No, I don't. I mean, I'm glad she's doing well, but that's it. I never want to see you ever again. Where are we? I don't want us to kid ourselves anymore. Whatever you feel for me is not as much as you feel for Ingrid. called Russ. He said Ingrid staying here. I do love you. I know. But you're not in love with me. <laughs> I'm just trying to undo what I did. Time to speak my angel Wanna see my angel I will sing for you angel See you again 
Do you mean what you said in the note? About not loving me anymore? Doesn't matter now. You're with Grace. She thinks I'm still in love with you. Are you? Yes. Be my angel. Don't whistle by. I just wanted to make it easier on you, I... I couldn't take you away from the life you had. You don't have to anymore. Do you think there's any way we could start again? I'd rather just pick up from where we left off. I will sing for my care of each other.